Hey everybody. So um, as you may call from our workshop earlier this week, um, one of the recommendations that Amber and I had for faculty was to um, try to deliver as much course content asynchronously as possible. However, um, we do still encourage you guys to hold um, synchronous sessions with your students in order to help maintain communications and um, one of the ways that we're recommending folks do that is to create reoccurring synchronous um, Microsoft Teams meetings at the same time that your class would have met. Um, so for example, I'm going to make one for my Chemistry 101 class. Um, our class met Mondays and Wednesdays at 2 to 3.20. So I'm going to go into Microsoft Teams and create that reoccurring session so that all students have to do is click on the link and they're in our virtual classroom space. Um, we are encouraging faculty to consider um, not making this required attendance. Again, just to be flexible um, with understanding that us and our students are going to have intermittent internet access. Um, we may have ac uh, trouble getting access to devices. Um, and students may be competing with computers um, time with their siblings um, and their parents who may be working from home. Um, so we want to make these sessions available to students so they can ask questions and discuss and you know interact with us and the peers. Um, but we don't want to you know make it required and sort of increase that anxiety if they are unable to attend. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to Microsoft Teams. Now you can either access Microsoft Teams through your web browser, through Office 365, um, or if you've downloaded the app directly to your device, you can access it that way as well. So I've downloaded Microsoft Teams to my device, so I'm going to open it. And then um, you can see I already have two teams made up. So the team that I want to create um, a reoccurring meeting for is Chemistry 101. So I'm going to go to the calendar to create this reoccurring meeting. So I'm going to select on new meeting. <coughs> I'm going to give it a title, CH 101 Virtual Class Room. I'm going to go ahead and add the channel. So I want this accessible to my CH101 students who are already in that team. I'm going to set up the date. So we're going to meet for the first time on March 30th. Again, I want to keep the time consistent um, with the current class schedule. This is going to allow us to make sure that our meetings do not overlap with each other. And then our class goes until 3.20 p.m. Again, I'm not going to require students to attend, nor do they have to attend the whole time. Um, I can type in some details, so I already have some um, that I had copied and pasted from another meeting that I made for another class. Um, again, just reiterating that this is a time for them to come in and ask questions and discuss the material, and sort of what are my expectations now as we move forward for how we use this time. Now, I want to make this repeating. So I'm going to select custom because we're going to meet on multiple days, at least for this class. I'm going to say it repeats weekly. And we already have Monday selected. I'm also going to select Wednesday. And then the end date is going to be our last day of the term, which is May 11th. And then I'm going to select save. All right. So now I have this meeting uh, drafted. I'm going to look over it. Everything looks good. And then I'm going to select send in order to make that meeting. And if you look in your calendar, now I can see it's meeting. It's, it's putting it into the system right here. If I go to my team, intro chem, see, there's the meeting right there. So students can either click on it here and join the meeting by clicking join. 
Another thing I figured out how to do is to create a link directly in Moodle. So I'm going to go back into the description. So now there's this link here, join Microsoft Teams meeting. I'm going to right click on that link and I'm going to select copy link. Then I'm going to go to my Moodle page for my 101 class. And right here in the introduction, I'm going to put that link. So it's right there on the main page. So I went to edit section and I'm going to make this nice and bold to join our virtual classroom encouraged but not required please click on the link here so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight here or even link here I'm going to go to the create hyperlink button and then I'm going to paste control V the link into that hyperlink. And I'm going to save changes. I may come back and edit this some more to give some more information. And now when students click here or you too, yeah, you could use this as well to access the meeting. You're going to select Open Office Teams, and there you are. You're in the meeting, right? So now um, make sure you let students remember, even though they're here in the meeting, they still have to click this Join Meeting in order to actually be in the meeting. All right, I'm going to close that because I don't want to start the meeting. All right, so um, that is just, like I said, one quick little hack um, that I found, again, to make it accessible and reoccurring um, and something that you may find helpful for your own classes as we continue to move forward. All right, thanks and y'all have a great day.